Hi guys, my name is Campbell and today we're going to be looking at Pioneer's new four channel standalone mixer, the Opus Quad. So the first thing that really stands out about the Opus Quad is this new very sleek, very minimalistic design. And the way that they've achieved that is by basically simplifying the setup so that a lot of the controls and functions that have previously been around on the decks are now all controlled from the, uh, the large touch screen here. So some of the differences in the layout include the screen you have here, showing you your waveform, your BPM and your time remaining for each track with some other information. You've got your cue points along here, obviously your jog wheel and your core controls with your looping and play here. But for the most part, everything else is gonna be actually done from the control center here. Now, one thing to note about this is this is by no means an XDJ XZ2 or anything like that. This is very much the first of its kind from Pioneer and just a, its own system. One of my personal favorite features of the Opus Quad is uh, the customization that they allow you to do on the actual backlight of the jog wheels. So like so, you can see as I select this, we got all these different colors to pick from. And you can do that on each jog wheel. Now, this is very handy because one obviously gives you some nice personalization to your decks. It also means that you can really easily identify which channel you're on, whether you're on two or four or one on three. Going through the menu, what we've got here, as you can see, your uh, effects selector down here has actually got no effects here. That's all gonna be on your screen. So you can go through there and see your delay and echo and whatnot. When you're selecting a channel for that, what you're gonna be doing is actually going on the screen as well. So you got deck three, one, two, and four, as you can see there. In your menus, if you hit shortcut, you're gonna see your basic menu where you've got a couple features. For example, you can swap from two channel to four channel. So you get all four waveforms there. If you hold down shortcut, you'll get your extended menu with all your other settings. If you're on any settings and you wanna go back to your waveform, just hit the waveform button up there and you'll be right back to it. Select your source with your USB or hard drive, whatever it may be with the source button. And then you can browse through your playlist like so. A couple really cool things that have been added on the, uh, on the Opus Quad is uh, in your playlisting, just like the uh, tagged tracks feature that we have always had, there is now a new feature where you can actually basically tag an entire playlist. I can just on that playlist and hit bank, it's gonna save that. So now if I'm anywhere in my folder, I can just jump straight back to that playlist like that. Another feature that's been brought back from the RX3 is the touch to preview. So if you've got tracks playing on both your left and right channel and you wanna preview another song, fear not, you can just select here and that's gonna start playing through your headphones depending on where on the waveform you click. You've actually got a Wi-Fi connection so you're able to stream straight from your record box library via the cloud onto these decks. Another thing you can do is actually connect your phone or any other compatible device through Bluetooth. You can select on your channel here, channel 304, and select Bluetooth as an input, so that way you can just connect a phone and play music like that. Now this is particularly handy, going hand in hand with the new zone feature that has been added into these decks. What that actually allows you to do is have a completely separate output that is independent from your mains output, which means that you could technically, you know, DJ into a second room with a completely separate music or even just play music from your phone into a second room. So I think it's time that we go through and uh, have a play and see what kind of new features we've got here. First thing to look at here, we've got the new Smooth Echo. Now this is an echo control that is actually gonna work across multiple inputs, so you won't need to use your effects. If you hold the smooth echo button, you'll be able to go here and actually view exactly what you can control with it. And you can actually edit that as well. For example, if I want it to work on my Q button, I can do that. Like so. You can control the amount of the echo by increasing the fader here. And you can change the timing of it too. My favorite part about this is that you can actually have it on your volume faders as well. So when you bring the channel volume down, it's a lot smoother compared to Next we'll look at the beat effects. In the beat effects here, it's a nice quick way that you can select your favorite effects. You can save a few here and then actually use your finger just like this. If you select holds, you can just put it in one spot and it's gonna keep going. 
All right, so let's take a look at the new looping in a bit of closer detail. As you can see, you've got a beat loop function here. Now, if I actually push this in, that's gonna auto create a loop, as you can see. Now, if I scroll this to the left or right, it's gonna double or halve that loop accordingly. Now, you can still loop in the old fashioned way using your in and out. And when you are in a loop, to leave that, all you gotta do is just click down on that beat loop again. So now we're gonna have a play with the four channels. As you can see, I've got two playing now with this one just on a loop. If I wanna get a better loop, I can go back to the hot cue. As I said before, something a bit simpler. All right, now we're gonna bring in a third track. So I'm gonna go into my third deck here and hit load. Now, if I wanna see all four of the waveforms here, all I gotta do is go into my shortcut menu change it to four deck mode. And now I get a preview of all four of my tracks at once. So as you can see, we got all three channels playing at the moment. So if I take these down, we got that playing. And this. So to summarize, the Opus Quad here is gonna be the perfect set of decks for anyone who's looking for decks that are gonna be really flexible and working in a lot of different situations, or anyone who's just looking for something that's gonna be really sleek, minimalistic, just really stylish all around. Now, if you're interested in these and you wanna know more, or you're interested in placing an order, you can visit our website at djcd.com.au and it'll all be there. Thanks.